in this particular question we have a multiple choice question that means more than one values can be correct and marks will be awarded only if you mark all the correct options so let us see it says that a flat rectangular flower bed with an area of 2400 square feet is bordered by a fence that means we have a flat rectangular flower bed this is the length this is the breadth we are given its area as 2400 square feet it is bordered by fence on three sides and by a walkway on the fourth side we are given the entire length of the fence is 140 and we have to find all the possible lengths of this particular flower bed we are not given in this question whether the fence is bordered on two lengths and one breadth or two breadths and one length so we have to take both the possibilities that means it will be either 2l plus b is 140 or 2b plus l is 140 let us take this equation as 1 this as 2 and this as 3 from equation 1 we can deduce that breadth is 2400 upon L we will substitute this value in second equation 2 L plus 2400 upon L will give us 140 let us solve this quadratic equation 2 L square plus 2400 will give you 140 L we can divide this entire equation by the common factor that is 2 which will give us L square minus 70L plus 1200 equal to 0. On solving this particular equation, we can find the value of L that is 40 and 30. Now, if the value of L is 40, the value of B will be 2400 upon 40. That is 60. If the value of L is 30, the value of B will be 2400 upon 30. That means it is 80. So we can say that all the possible values of the lengths of this particular flower bed will be 30, 40, 60, 80. Which gives us options 30, 40, 60 and 80. Let us see another multiple choice question in which more than one option can be correct. We have to find the area for which of the following will be more than 50 square units. That means we have to calculate the area in all these cases and then see that which of these is more than 50. Let us pick up the first case. A circle whose perimeter is 22 units. We know that perimeter is 2 pi r which is 22 units. That means pi r is 11 and r in this case is 11 by pi. So if you have to calculate the area, it will be pi r square. That means pi into 121 upon pi square. We can say that this value will be less than 50. The second thing, we have a parallelogram whose adjacent sides measure 20 and 200 units. If we have a parallelogram whose sides are 20 and 10, we do not know the height of this parallelogram. So in this case, we cannot calculate the area. Let us see the third thing. We have a rhombus whose perimeter is 52. In this case also, we cannot say anything about the area. So it is not possible to calculate the area in this case. Then we have a rectangle whose perimeter is 50 units. That means twice of L plus B in this case is 50. L plus B is 25. We know the value of L plus B but from L plus B we cannot find the value of area which is L into B. So we are not sure of what the area in this case will be. Then we have a square whose perimeter is 32 units. A square whose perimeter is 32 units that means one side will be 32 upon 4 is 8 area in this case will be a square that is 64 so we can say that yes this square has an area which is more than 50 square units then we have a right angle triangle whose hypotenuse measures 17 units the area of a right angle triangle is half into base into height. But in this case, we do not know the value of base and we do not know the value of height. So we cannot calculate the area of this particular right angle triangle. So we can say that out of all these options, 
the only one that answers this question is this square. That means a square whose perimeter is 32 units, we can say that yes, its area is more than 50 square units. So, this is a numeric entry question. That means you have a question and you have a blank with it. You have to fill in the correct answer using your keyboard. Let us see this figure. This is R degrees, this is S degrees. In this figure, we are given R upon R plus S is 5 by 8. That means 8R equal to 5R plus 5S. That means 3R equal to 5S. From here, we can also say that R plus S is 180 degrees. So, this forms our second equation and this forms our first equation. So, we will substitute the values of the first equation in the second equation. From here, we can say that R is 5S by 3. We have to calculate the value of R. So, let us put the value of S. S in this case will be 3R by 5. Let us put this value in second equation. R plus 3R upon 5 is 180. Let us solve this quadratic equation. 5R plus 3R will give you 180 into 5. 8R will give you 180 into 5. From here we can say that the value of R in this case is 112.5. This is the value that you have to input in the box that will come in the numeric entry questions.